Pilchei Avot. It's a six-chapter book containing the ethical teachings of our rabbis that many Jews choose to study during the six weeks between the end of Pesach and the holiday of Shavuot. And in the first chapter, we are introduced to an interesting series of characters known as the Zugot. These were the pairs of Jewish leaders who argued with each other about important aspects of halacha and even headed different schools of thought, yet they worked together as colleagues in leading the Jewish people. In this video, we'll explore how this strange pattern of leadership started and what may have been the secret ingredient that allowed them to work together even though they had their differences. The first pair of these Zugat were two men by the names of Yoseb ben Yo'ezer Ish Sereda and Yoseb ben Yohanan Ish Yerushalayim. Ironically, they both had the same name Yoseb. We differentiate them by who their father was and what city they were from. So Yerushalayim, we all know that's our capital behind me, but Sereda, where's that? Who ever heard of such a place? So Sereda is in the west of the Shomron, and as it turns out, there is one other person we know of from Sereda, and that was Yerobam ben Nebat. And he also had an adversary from Yerushalayim, who was Rehabam ben Shilomo. Now these two men were responsible for dividing the nation. After the united monarchy under David and Shilomo, Rehabam and Yerobam split it into Malchut Yisrael and Malchut Yehuda. Now the split was from God. It was fulfillment of the prophecy of Ahya Shiloni. However, the civil war which they started afterwards definitely was not from God. That civil war claimed more lives than any other war that we read about in Tanakh, more than any of the wars against our enemies. Now, I hope you've noticed the parallels by now. We have the similar names. They both have the Ba'am in it, just like Yosei and Yosei with the same names. They're from the same places, Sereda and Yerushalayim, and they're both adversaries. So I don't think that the parallel was lost on Yosei and Yosei. They knew their Tanakh well, and they knew it was crucial to avoid their split getting out of control like what happened before. Well, it's easier said than done. How do you cooperate with your adversary? In order to figure out their secret ingredient, let's go and visit the ancient site of Sereda, see what secrets it has to reveal. Down in the valley here is Nahal Shilo. And it's a very, very steep climb to get up to Sereda, which is nicknamed named the Gamla of the Shomron. It's a naturally fortified spot. And some remains from the first temple period were found. I'm standing here on the top of the ancient site of Sirada, the hometown of Yerobam bin Nebat. Down here at the bottom, there were remains from the second temple period. So the Sirada of Yosebin Yorezer Ish Sirada is actually down here in the valley. So what we see from our visit to Sirada is that while Yerobam bin Nebat lived atop a strong fortified cliff, later on in the days of Yoseb bin Yorezer, the town moved down to the valley, low and exposed, vulnerable, I think there's some interesting psychology at play here. In the days of Yerobam and Habam, each leader knew that they could fall back on the security and fortifications of their hometown. So each one was confident. They knew that they could press on. They didn't have to make compromises. There was no room for concessions. That's what fueled the civil war and everyone caught in the middle suffered terribly. Later on, however, the dynamic had changed. The vulnerability on the side of Yoseb and Yo'ezer necessitated respecting the place of his rival. Even the vulnerability just on one side is what opened the door for compromising and even cooperating with one another, creating a successful model that carried down for several generations. It is my prayer that in our own generation, we may be able to emulate the model of the Zugot and thus cooperate despite our internal differences and thus stand strong against all the external threats that surround us. Thanks so much for watching.